trapped in a dark room. You can only see two LCD displays when suddenly the lights come on. You can now see that one of the LCD displays belongs to something ticking, sitting on the desk right in front of you. It has batteries and wires and buttons, and you can't discern how to make it stop. This is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, a mastermind of a game. What you're currently seeing is the output of the game. What you're not seeing are the people trying to help you defuse the bomb. They can't see the screen. You have to describe to the people who are supporting you, the bomb defusal squad, or experts, what you're seeing so that they can tell you what to do. The bomb defusal manual is a 23 page long document that outlines how to deal with every eventuality that you can encounter in the field of bomb defusal. Bombs are composed of modules, and you need to defuse every module in order to defuse the bomb. But each module can be incredibly different. One is a very complex game of memory where you have to remember what digit, in what order, in what position you pushed one of four buttons that are labeled one through four. Another one is called the Who's On First module, where the bomb defusal experts and the diffuser have to communicate what is printed on one of six buttons and what's displayed on a small bar. Words like, yes, okay, what, middle, left, press, right, blank, ready, no, first, uh, nothing, wait. You can imagine, in tense situations, how confusing that would be. The PDF is available for free from their website, so you can print it out and make one yourself. This is a game about communication and tension and working well under pressure and figuring out how to do that with the people that you, you trust. This is a video game that feels like a board game, and you can really get everyone involved if you have multiple copies of the Bomb Defusal Manual. So if you're looking to be part of an action thriller starring you and your family and friends, I recommend Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes.